Welcome to the feast here in Alabang. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate the love of the Lord wherever you are, here in the Philippines or abroad. Friends, Christmas is fast approaching. And as the year is about to end, I bet you have so much goals planned already for, for the year that is to come. But also, with, with all our hopes and dreams, pinned on that year to come, we are also experiencing a lot of anxiety that is building up throughout this holiday season. Ito na naman. Are we able to have a better year this time? Is it time to gather again as a family? Could it be a good time to now call for a reunion? What where are we now? What's going to happen in the future? Believe you me, I'm part of that too. <laughs> I have plans for 2022. My family has plans for 2022. We have plans just for Christmas. And it's already causing anxiety in our hearts. Are we making the right decision? Will it happen this year or next year? I'm not sure. But you know what? I'm so I'm so I'm just so happy that that God encountered us uh, through the Holy Mass the first Sunday of Advent through the priest's homily he just reminded us that yes because Christmas is coming we know already that something good Jesus is about to come into our world to impact us and to meet us where we are it is coming, but it is not here yet. And so, what we feel is normal. We know that hope is coming, but it is not here yet. We know that healing is coming, but it is not here yet. We know that provision is coming, but it is not here yet. Good thing our God is faithful. Good thing 
our God is a God of miracles. Good thing our God has a good track record in our life. Because even if our future is uncertain, we are sure of His faithfulness. And we can hold on to that. So today, my brothers and sisters, let's come into worship. Singing joy. Declaring joy upon our lives. Declaring joy upon our future. Even if it is uncertain. Because our future is in the palms of a faithful God. Jesus Christ. Join me, brothers and sisters. Let's worship the Lord together. Joy upon our lives. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven. to you, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. There is no one like you, God. My friends, let's come in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, 
you hold the world in the palm of your hands. We trust you. We trust your faithfulness. And so God, we come. We step into what you are calling us to do. We step into where you are calling us to be. Filled with uncertainty, yes. But filled with faith, definitely. Even more. So God, we, your faithful children, step forth to the call of our faithful God. May this Christmas season remind us of who you are. Wonderful Counselor, King of Kings, Lord of Lords in our lives. We approach the throne. We adore you. We sing praise to you.
have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. From now on, our troubles will be miles away. Here we are. In olden days, happy golden days of your faithful friends who are dear to us, gather near to us once more through the years. We'll Always be together if the fatal love hang a shining star upon the highest bow. So have yourself a merry little Christmas. Now, Merry Christmas, everyone. And how many of you are enjoying the holidays so far? Siguro yung iba sa inyo nakapag physical Christmas party na, kaya most probably nag-enjoy na kayo this year compared to last year, no? Or nakapag-enjoy ka ng bumili ng gift kasi pwede nang hindi add to cart lang dahil allowed na magpunta sa mga malls. Tama ba? Pero mind you ha, ingat pa rin kayo. Kahit na inaallow na talaga na magkita-kita tayo, you have to still take care of yourself. Ha? Or you enjoy the holiday dahil long vacation na kaya nakapanood ka na ng opening ng Spider-Man. Ha? Nakapanood na ba kayo ng Spider-Man? Ay, January pa yata yun, ano? Sa, sa Pilipinas. Kasi sa ibang bansa, pinalabas na yan. Pero... Meron akong, may na link, merong link na nakuha si Migi na pwede niya mapanood ha, itong Spider-Man. At dahil Christmas, this is my gift to you. O, panood mo nga sa kanila yung uh, teaser natin para mat masunda nila yung link na yan. Mga kababayan ko, dito sa Akmivin. Ay, sandali. Wala pong ano man. Sandali, sandali. Sandali. Ako po, iba pa, iba yata yung nakuha ni Miguel. <laughs> Hindi yata spider. Local na spider man yata yan. Gagambo yata yan. Huwag na yan. Antayin nyo na lang ha. January. Pero sabi nila, sa ATC yata, palabas na. I do not know. Pakicheck nyo na lang ha. Palabas na raw sa Pilipinas yung Spider-Man. So, I know some of you, you're already enjoying the holidays. But, alam ko iba sa inyo, you are also stressing out this holiday. Tama ba? Yung... Halimbawa, if you want to grow old with your spouse, naku, isama mo siya maglalabas ngayong Christmas season. Kasi balik na yung traffic sa Metro Manila. Tama ba? Grabe na, isang araw, palabas kami ng better living. More than 30 minutes ang ikli lang nung binahi namin. Ang ikli lang. Pag uwi, naku, may ibang tao, apat na oras, papasok ng better living. You feel stressed out kasi yung 13 month mo, parang year 2021. Unti-unti na nagpapaalam. <laughs> Naka-stress, right? And you know, to top it all, dadagdagan ko yung stress nyo ngayong araw na ito <laughs> because of the talk that I will give you today. But before that, let me welcome our first timer. Baka meron mga ngayon lang nakapanood dito sa ating broadcast. would like to welcome you 
in this family in Peace SM South Mall. By the way, I'm Brother James Nicolas and I'm the peace builder and preacher in this particular feast in Peace Alabang. If this is your first time, please uh, put in your chat box, Hi, I'm new here. So that we can welcome you into this family. Marami mga tao ho dyan na nag-aantay sa'yo and I believe that God brought you here for a reason. And I do not know why, but God brought you here and I want you to just listen to Him as we gather together and listen to our Master as He preach His words for us today. And at the end of our gathering, we'd like to invite you to join us in a Zoom meeting. May kli lang naman ito, mabilis lang. This is what we call the after feast party dahil nais ka naming makilala personally. At the end of our talk, please go to this Zoom meeting ID. And if you have some prayer intention, please don't hesitate to put in the chat box also your prayer intention. And we have people here who will be praying for you. Maraming maraming salamat for joining us today. And I would like to thank also all the all the timers. Yung lagi kong kasama every Sunday. Thank you for joining us today once again. At syempre, dahil malapit na ang Pasko, here's the question for today. Ready na kayo? Yung mga nanonood ngayon, this is the question of the day today. What are you looking forward to this Christmas? What are you looking forward to this Christmas? Ano yung inaabangan mo? Or inaasam mo ngayong Christmas? Ano yung bagay na excited ka this Christmas? And I want to see your response or your reaction in the comment box. Kasi nga, pakitype ninyo. What are, the, what are you looking forward to this Christmas? Nga, tingnan ko nga. Pero mga ako nang... Tingnan natin. Sino yung mga nanonood? Ayan. I would like to welcome you first, the mga nandito. Wow, si Angel is here, the head of our IM. Ayan, yan ang mag, yung grupo nila ang magdadasal sa'yo if you have some prayer intention. Si Pasching is here. Welcome. At binabati niya si Rodolfo Embalsado. Merry Christmas daw. Si Brother Yo is here. Sino pa? Si Franz. Ayan, naku, na, lagi yan. Every Sunday si Franz. Si Ting Season. Good morning daw po sa lahat. Si Joy Aquino is here, si Tapangan, Luisa Gonda, si Carol is here as well. Girlie Gatika. Ayan, blessed rainy morning. Ayan, umuulan ngayon, ano? Be safe, ha? Kung kayo ay magdadrive mamaya. Si Ana is here. Sino pa? Si Jinky, syempre hindi mawala yung, yung aking mahal sa buhay, ha? Si Joshua is here. Sige, tignan natin, meron na bang nag-comment? Back to normal, sabi ni Carol. Yan, yan, yan daw yung, uh, she's looking forward to this Christmas. Back to normal. Back to normal. Celebrating it with the whole family. Kasi last year, di ba, medyo hindi natin na-celebrate together with the rest of our family. Oh, si Arun is here. Hi, Arun. Good morning. Ganda raw ng boses ko. Thank you, Arun. Mana lang ako sa district builder. <laughs> si Kitin, being able to give back to those who helped me in the past year. Yan. Yan ang, uh, she's looking forward for this Christmas. Sino pa? Looking forward to close family gathering. Yan. So, halos na tayo, no? Talagang gusto natin magkita-kita na tayo. But still, because of some fears, some of us are still hesitant. Sino pa? Ito si Charm. Excited to have a semi-new normal because of the vaccine. We have a little less worry when we celebrate. Yan. So yung mga hindi pa nagpapabakuna, magpabakuna na kayo. Okay? Sino pa? Ito si Ting. Looking forward sa laughter habang nagkikwentuhan with family. Ayan. Tama, di ba? Maganda. Pag nakikita-kita tayo, talagang yung tawanan. Kasi at least nakikita mo yung pinagtatawanan mo. Dati sa Facebook mo lang pinagtatawanan. <laughs> Namimiss mo yun, di ba? Yun, pag nakikita mo siya, natatawa ka. Ayan. So, laughter. 
Si Anna, looking forward of continuing our family tradition which we started three years ago. All of us in the family, our kids, from their budget, they will see to it na we can make a street dweller feel that it's Christmas. Wow, wow. Ganda, ganda nung ano yan. Ha? Ganda nang sinimulan nyo na tradition. And we honor you for that. Si Murray, spending Christmas together with my family for two consecutive years. Ay, sana lang. Si Mary Grace, sabi niya, what are you looking forward for this Christmas? Makasama at makapiling ko ang dalawa kong anak at ang buong pamilya ko. Masaya na po ako. Ayan, halos lahat tayo yan yung ating panalangin. Uy, si Franz, ibalik ang Face South Mall na face to face. Ayan. So some of us, we, we wanted that as well. Again, thanks for your comments. And all of us, we have something that we are looking forward for. This Not only this Christmas, but this coming 2022. Marami tayong mga nais na mangyari, ma gusto nating maganap, and we've been praying for that. Pero tama ba? Minsan yung inaasam-asam natin or yung in-expect natin, di, nang, hindi nangyayari. Have you experienced that in your life? Or what is happening now is different to how we picture them. Have you experienced that in, in any season of your life? Today, I will share to you an insight on what to do if what you expect is different to what is happening in your life. And this is our special talk this morning. This is not how. I picture it. This morning, I will give you an alternate Christmas story that some Bible scholars are proposing and questions the old version we grew up with. Are you ready? Sige, pakitype nyo nga dyan sa mga chat box ninyo. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And so if you're ready, let's pray our favorite prayer here in the feast in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, I'm God's powerful champion, and because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's honor the gospel. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Today we'll be departing from our Matthew series and we will read a detailed infancy narrative from the Gospel of Luke. And it is taken from chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. And we're using the NIB, the New International Version. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. I want you to take note of that. No guest room available for them. Let us pray. Allow me to pray for gathering today. Father, we thank you for once again calling us into this particular space to listen to your words. Open our hearts today, or we open our hearts to you today, and we pray. Let's speak into our circumstances today. 
help us to celebrate the real reason for this season. That is your gift to us. Actually, it's not that, but who. And that is Jesus. So today, teach us, speak to us, help us to celebrate with full joy the gifts of your Son. This we pray, this we claim, in Jesus' name. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my paths. Let's give God a big hand. Praise Him. This is not how I picture it. You know, you already... Maybe some of you already heard this talk. I, I gave this in Peace Out Mall where, when we're still live. And the reason why I did that, kasi last Friday, naalala ninyo in our FSM journey, merong diniscuss si Father about Bartimaeus. And I shared one important point that Friday, mas nagulat ako kasi merong mga ibang tao doon na hindi nila natatandaan yung point na binigay kong yun. Kaya after the, after our FSM journey, sabi ko, Mama, nabigay ko na yung talk na yan actually in our feast, pero bakit hindi nila natatandaan? Eh yung mga marami dyan sa FSM journeys natin, mga kasama natin yan, since the time we started eh. Alam mo, bigla sabi ni Jinky, sabi niya, alam mo, Papa, ako din. May sekreto ako. <laughs> hindi ko na rin natatandaan. <laughs> Ganun pala yan, ano? Yung... Dahil binibigay natin isang talk, minsan sa tagal, nakakalimutan na natin. That's why today, I would like to make a, a sort of a throwback talk this morning. This is not how I picture it. But I believe that God will speak a new message, a fresh perspective to your life today. Ready? Ano yung naalala ko when, when Miguel, Miguel is... Just a small boy. Bata pa siya eh. Makit kami ng bagyo kasi yan yung talagang puntahan pag gusto mo ng malamig eh. And I promised him, maliit pa siya, nasasakay kami sa kabayo dun sa right Park. Eh, dyan kasi talaga maraming kabayo dyan eh. Tapos makakapili ka ng iba't ibang height ng kabayo. So sabi, sabi ko sa kanya, sasakay tayo ng kabayo anak. And before, during the time na bumabiyahe kami, I picture myself like Leon Guerrero. Yan, kilala niyo sa Leon Guerrero. Si Lito Lapid, ayan, para akong si Leon Guerrero. At yung kasama kong Indian, si Arun. <laughs> Nakita ko siya kasi kanina rito. <laughs> hindi pala, hindi pala. No, hindi pa kami, hindi pa ako feast builder dyan eh. Kaya hindi pa kami magkasama niyan sa feast. At isa pa, ibang Indian nga pala si Arun. No? Hindi siya yung whoo, iba. No? Kundi yung 5'6". So, siya naman nagsasabi niya. <laughs> so, so, I picture myself, sumasakay sa kabayo, patalon. Yung sa likod ng kabayo, tatalon ako, sasakay ako doon, then mga kabayo ako. Tapos, I picture myself na bumabaril, nang walang tingin, basta bumabaril ako. Tapos lahat ng mga tinatamaan ko, bulagta. Kaya nung paakit kami, na excited talaga ako. Excited ako. Kaya nung pag dating namin ng Baguio, sabi ko kay mama, mama, wag muna tayo pumunta sa hotel natin. Dun, dun muna tayo dumiretso sa Wright Park para makasakay kami ni Miguel. So, dumiretso kami doon. Tapos, nakakita ako ng kabayo. Iisa na lang. Sabi ko, buti na lang may natira. So, nirentahan namin. Kaya lang pagsakay ko doon sa kabayo, ang taas ng kabayo. Siguro hanggang dito ko yung kabayo. So, imaginein mo, ang taas ko talaga. So, nakakalula. So, si Miguel, maliit pa, hawak ko. So, talagang inakap ko siya habang yung isang kamay ko nakahawak doon sa, sa renda ng kabayo. So, lakad kami. I mean, la- andar kami. Tapos, meron mang humahawak doon sa kabayo actually sa may harapan habang kami umiikot doon sa oval ng Wright Park. Kaya lang dahil medyo umuulan during that time, medyo umaambon. Nako, nadulas kami. Bulagta kami ni Miguel doon sa, sa medyo may maputik na lugar doon sa Wright Park. 
this is not how I picture it. Kasi in-expect ko, mga bubulag tayo, mga kalaban ko. Kami ang bumulag ta. <laughs> Now, why am I sharing this to you? You know, in our reflection this morning of the birth of Jesus, we will see the same realization. Sino sa inyo ang nakapanood na ng traditional Christmas story? Bawa sa school play or maybe sa TV, napapanood natin yan, lalo na pag mga gantong season. Di ba? Nalala ko, when I was able to watch this school play in one of my children's uh, school, ang ganda nung ano nila, play nila, talaga naka, naka-costume sila, si Mama Mary, si Joseph, tas buntis yung isa, tas may mga kings, yung ganyan. Tapos si Mama Mary, na buntis siya nakasakay dun sa donkey. Hindi ko lang paano ginawa nila yung donkey, pero parang nakasakay talaga dun sa donkey. Tapos habang si Joseph, kumakatok dun sa mga bahay. Ayan, ganyan yung mapapanood mo eh, dito sa Christmas story. Tapos tinatanggihan sila ng mga tao. And finally, may nakita silang isang Airbnb at pinatuloy sila nung manager. At tinanong si Joseph nung manager kung nakapag-book ba siya online. <laughs> Dahil naka iPhone 5 lang si Joseph, hindi siya nakapag-advance booking dahil mahina yung data connection niya habang bumabiyahe sila ni Mary. Kaya di niya naunahan magpabook yung mga OFW na nagsipag-uwi at nagpa- para magparegister. At ang available na lang na natira sa kanila ni Mary ay yung manger. At syempre si Mary kahit ayaw sana doon pero dahil malapit na mga anak at sa sobrang sakit ng pagbubuntis niya, nararamdaman niya, Pumayag na rin habang sinasabunutan niya si Joseph at sinasabi mo, Langya ka Joseph, bakit mo sa akin ginawa ito? Di na ito mauulit, pero sige, pwede na ako dyan. Habang si Joseph naman, sinasabi sa kanya, huwag ako sisihin mo, Holy Spirit ang tatay niyan. <laughs> so pumayag na rin si Mary at dun, pinanganak si Jesus sa sabsaban. Tama ba? That is how we see the story. Siguro sabi na ba, tama brother James, maliban doon sa Airbnb motel at iPhone 5 at doon sa sabunutan, parang wala yata yun. <laughs> so friends, that's our traditional rejected in story. And you know, we base it on one verse from the older Bible translation in the New King James Version. And it says here, And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in sw- swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. That's the old translation. At dyan binibase ng ibang simbahan yung traditional story about Jesus' birth. But can I shock you? Ayan, sige, pakitype nyo nga dyan. Ah! Ay, ganun na lang. Ah! <laughs> you know, Bible scholars today doubt this traditional version. Why? They doubt na may motels or in sa Bethlehem. Bethlehem, according to the Bible scholars, have few hundreds of presidents during Jesus' time. Kakaunti lang. At walang tourist spot doon, katulad ngayon. And besides, if you look at the Greek word that was used by Luke, translated as in, in the New Kings, King James Version, ang original Greek word na ginamit doon ay kataluma. And what kataluma means? Guest room. Yun yung ginamit, yung kataluma doon sa look to ab, na Greek about that in. And this is confirmed by the story of the Good Samaritan and a man who was robbed along the way. Naalala nyo ba yung story na yan? Naalala nyo siguro yan na naglalakad yung isang mama and then he was robbed and left for almost dead on the street. Tapos may dumaan na pare, may dumaan na libay, nilagpasan siya. And eventually, there's this good Samaritan who passed by, kinuha siya at dinala sa isang lugar. At ito yung makikita natin in Luke 10, 33 to 34. And it says, But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was. And when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged him, or bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil, And wine, then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. You know, on this particular, in this particular verse, the Greek word used is translated, or translated as in, is pandokion. Yan yung Greek na ginamit. So magkaiba kumpara mo dun sa kanina. Ito pandokion, 
pandok yun yung kanina kataluma kaya yung modern version na, na binasa natin kanina anong sabi because there was no guest room available for them so that's the new international version now here's my question if there was no motel saan nagstay sila Mary and si Joseph now here's the fact Bethlehem was Joseph's ancestral home and if this is the case saan siya magstay I'll give you some hint. Ano ang ginagawa ng mga Pinoy pag umuuwi na OFW? Umuuwi sa hometown nila. Anong ginagawa nila? Tatawag sila, di ba? Tatawag, Auntie, Uncle, or Lolo, Lola, uuwi ako sa Christmas, can I stay with you? Anong sagot? Oo, oh, oh, anak, oo. Oh, oh. Basta yung pasalubong ko, huwag mo kakalimutan. Di ba? <laughs> Importante yan, yung pasalubong. At ganito rin yung Pinaniniwalaan ng mga Bible scholars na nangyari sa Bethlehem during the first Christmas story. Now, two reasons, but ito yung pinapaniwalaan nila. First reason is this. It's their ancient Jewish custom to be hospitable. Kasi nasa mosaic law nila yan. If, if, if you look at Deuteronomy 10 verse 19, it says here, And you are to love those who are foreigners, for you yourselves were foreigners in Egypt. If you look at, you know, if you look at this verse, this is a command to be done to foreigners. So, paano pa sa mga kamag-anak? Di ba? And also, this is the reason why the traditional Christmas story can be inaccurate. Because allowing Mary to give birth in a stable when there was no available room, this will bring great shame for the people living there. Kasi, utos sa kanila na ano yun? Na alagaan mo yung mga foreigners. Ito kamag-anak. Paano pa yung kamag-anak? That's why yung idea na yung mga tao sa sobrang busy, hindi nila tinulungan itong mag-asawang ito when desperately they need help, doesn't fit in their culture. So that's the first reason. Now here's the second reason. Let's look at what Luke 2 verse 6 says. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. You know, this verse says that Joseph and Mary were, were already in Bethlehem for a few days before she gave birth. Yun ang gusto sabihin itong verse na to. Pero ano yung pagkaalam natin? Manganak na si Mary, kaya kumakatok na sila sa mga iba't ibang bahay. But in this particular verse, parang sinasabi na nandun na sila few days before she gave birth. Pero ito yung malaking tanong. This is the big question. If they were already staying in a house, how could they be kicked out to stable right before Mary gave birth? Kung nando na sila, Brother James, bakit nung mga anak na siya, pinalabas siya at dinala sa stable? That's, that's the question. Okay lang, sagutin ko yan next Sunday. Uh, kasi may isang special Christmas uh, district feast pa tayo ha next week uh, this will be a feast wherein all of us coming feast builder ng ating district will be preaching God's word to you next Sunday okay so that that will be our last feast for the year doon na lang sagutin <laughs> and sige sagutin ko na ngayon ito yung sagot we believe Jesus was born in a stable because the word manger Tama ba? Napinanak si Jesus sa stable because of the word manger. And manger means food box. Food box for what? For horses, for donkeys, for goats, for sheep, for cow. Mga kapampangan, makakarelate kayo dito. Ano, ano ang ibig sabihin ng pagkain sa kapampangan? Mangan. Tama ba? Mangan. So, pag na mo, ma, yan ang magkalapit siya, eh, manger mangan. That's why, in our modern mind, if there's a manger, that means it was a stable. Tama? Kasi may manger eh. May kainan ng kalabaw, may, ka, may kainan ng kabayo. But you know, here's a historical fact. 
na hindi alam ng modern people. In ancient times, many homes had mangers. In Jesus' place, maraming mangers in that particular place. Why? Because people lived with their animals under one roof. I isang bahay yung tinitira ng mga tao at ng mga hayo. Sa mga taong galing sa US, no, katulad ni Brother Arun, eh, kasi yan ang probinsya ni Arun eh. Uh, ako kasi sa UK, you know? hindi, hindi, hindi namin naiintindihan yan. Hindi natin maintindihan yan kung galing ka dyan sa mga lugar na yan. Pero pag Pinoy ka, na nakatira ka sa probinsya, you can relate. Tama? Kasi tama ba sa probinsya before yung mga bahay, yung bahay nila merong ilalim, may silong, sino nakatira doon? Yung bienan, and then, and then, yung mga manok, yung mga kambing, yung mga hayop kasama sa bahay. Parang bahay kubo natin. Same with ancient Israel. Sa ancient Israel, yung bahay nila, yung ground floor, doon nakatira yung mga hayop. Elevated ng konti, nandyan yung sala and kitchen. And then the second floor, ayan yung guest room, yan, dyan na yung tulugan ng mga tao. Parang katulad nitong picture na to. Parang ganyan yung bahay nila nung araw. Kasama yung mga hayop. So with this in mind, here's the alternative Christmas Belen. Since the guest room, the second floor was full, Joseph and Mary were accepted by Joseph's relative to stay in the sala or kitchen part of the house. And in one sense, mas tama na dun siya mga anak sa part ng bahay na yan. Bakit? Because a discharge of blood can make a place unclean. At yung lugar na yan, di mo na pwedeng tulugan. And we can see that in Leviticus 15. And it says here, when a woman has her regular flow of blood, the impurity of her monthly period will last seven days. Ang tagal, no? Seven days. And anyone who touches her will be unclean till evening. Kaya makikita nyo kanina yung umiiwas na dalawa, yung pare at saka yung, yung doon sa Good Samaritan story. Kaya sila umiiwas dahil ayaw nilang madumihan ng dugo nung, nung mamang yun na ninakawan. And let's continue. And anything she lies on during her period will be unclean. And anything she sits on will be unclean. Anyone who touches her bed will be unclean. Anyone who touches anything she sits on will be unclean. Whether it is the bed or anything she was sitting on, when anyone touches it, they will be unclean till evening. Masyado silang matakotin sa dumi. <laughs> and you know, ito, ito pa yung pinapaniwalaan ng mga scholars na nangyari. Habang nanganganak si Mary, yung mga relatives ni Joseph tumutulong in giving, in, in giving birth to Jesus. Nagiinit sila ng tubig, nag-prepare ng linens, nagluluto ng malunggay pampagatas. Friends, if you look at the version of the first Christmas story I'm sharing this morning, you can say that this is not how I picture it. Tama? Idagdag pa natin yung mga wise men. You know, al alam nyo na to eh. There's no record that there are three of them. There's three gifts, but I do not know how many magi were there. May tatlong regalo, pero hindi naman sinabi sa Biblia na tatlo yung magi. And no one really knows the exact time they got to Bethlehem. Other scholar says, two years old na si Jesus nung makita nila. And even the shepherd, pag tinignan namin mga shepherd, scholar says that the wise men and the shepherds were not there at the same time. Now why am I telling this to you? Kasi parang ginugulo ko yung, yung Christmas story. Background ko pa naman to binili pa ni Jinky ito. Ha? Parang ginugulo ko yung Christmas story na alam natin. Now allow me to answer using a question as well. What if during the course of our weekly feast at home, or in your spiritual journey, you found out that the lesson every Sunday is not how you picture it? Ano ibig sabihin? What if the way you see God is different to what He will reveal to you? Or the bigger question is this. What if how you picture God to work in your situation is different to how He acts 
on it. Friends, 2021 is about to end in less than 15 days. And if you look at where you are now or what is happening, happening in your life, some of you, you can say that this is not how I picture it at the start of the year. You believe that this new relationship you call the pandemic love bug will last longer, but now it's non-existent anymore. You believe that you will get the promotion because you've been excelling despite the work from home, a hardship you hurdled, but now, parang malabong mangyari. You believe that a loved one will be healed of a sickness because many people is praying for her, but now her medical condition got worse. You believe that this year will be better because you survived COVID in 2020. But before the year ends, you lost someone you love and care for. Is there anybody here who are living in a situation that you did not picture in this season? Friends, here's what I want you to do. Don't rely on the picture of the season in your life. Don't rely on the picture of that season in your life, but rely on the person who is the reason for this season. Anong gusto ko sabihin? Don't rely on what your eyes is revealing to you because your eyes may be revealing sickness today, broken relationship, dead dreams, lacking in provision, even fear for the future. Don't rely on that picture. But rather rely on what the person this season is revealing. And what is that person revealing to us? That you are not forsaken, that you are not abandoned, that you are not alone, that you are loved, that the best is before you and not behind you. Because the person is revealing to you that Emmanuel is here, that God is with us, and his name is Jesus. Yes? His name is Jesus. And He is the reason why we are celebrating this season. Allow me to share you the last story as I'm about to end now. So, I want to you see Isaac Watts. Sino may nakakilala ba sa inyo kay Isaac Watts? You know, Isaac Watts was born and raised during a time of plague and uncertainty. Hindi, hindi siya pinanganak nung during COVID-19 last year or nung 2019. Ha? But he lived hundreds of years ago. You know, he lived in a town decimated by a plague. And what's that plague? It's a bubonic plague which which killed 100,000 people in and around London. You know, during this time, yung mga tao, the families have been torn apart and there's so much poverty and economic uncertainty because of this pandemic. Parang pag tinignan mo, kamukha nung nangyayari sa atin ngayon, ano? kamukhang kamukha. So yung nangyayari sa atin ngayon, nangyayari na yan noon sa panahon ni Isaac Watts. Pero bakit hanggang ngayon, kilala pa rin si Isaac Watts? Nang marami. Maybe some of you, this is the first time you heard him. But he is famous. At bakit siya famous? Because in 1719, he wrote a famous song which is based in Psalm 98. Psalm 98. At alam mo, according to theologians, once you read and understand Psalm 98, you cannot read it without being glad. Yung pag binasa mo siya, eh, hindi pwedeng hindi ka mag-rejoice. Kaya pala si Isaac, nung inaaral niya yung Psalm 98, lumabas yung kantang hindi pwedeng hindi tugtugin or kantahin during this season. At alam niyo kung anong song to? Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Now, why am I sharing this to you? Friends, 
it could have been easier to think that Isaac Watts lived in simpler time. Kaya naisulat niya yung kantang Joy to the World. Tama? Na, kaya niya nakumpose itong kantang ito kasi masaya yung nung panahon na yan, walang problema, wala siyang matinding pinagdadaanan. Pero ito yung nakakataka eh. Sa gitna ng hirap, sa gitna ng problema, lumabas ang isang awit declaring that there is joy to the world. Despite the poverty, despite this pandemic, despite this economic uncertainty. Bakit? Ito akin lang ito ha. Because he might believe that the God he knows and the God he serves has promised that he will save his people from whatever they are going through. And that God that he serves remembered that promise, remembered his love and faithfulness to his people when the world has known his salvation. And si Isaac, maybe he recalled that salvation that God promised. Naalala niya yung promise na yan habang binabasa niyo Psalm 98 because that salvation has a name. And His name is Jesus. And that promise of God came to pass. And Jesus was born into our lives. That's why for us to have full joy as we celebrate Christmas in the midst of uncertainty, I would like to read to you Psalm 98 as we end our gathering today. And I would like to look back like Isaac Watts did. Because if you want to move forward, if you want to move forward in hope, you have to look back at those victories that God did in your life. That's why today after reading this verse, I would like us to look back to one of those, one of that good times we have as one family in Peace SM South Mall. Can you do, can you do that with me? And then after that, I will I will return back again for some of our announcement. So let's read Psalm 98, where God revealed His love, His presence. His joy in our midst. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous things. His right hand and His holy arm have worked salvation for Him. The Lord has made His salvation known and revealed His righteousness to the nation. He has remembered His love and His faithfulness to Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp. With the harp and the sound of singing. With trumpets and the blast of ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it. The world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the people with equity. Father, we thank You. For allowing us to remember of your promises that you will be with us in whatever seasons that we are in in our lives that the best is before us and not behind us that maybe there are things in our lives that we do not understand now 
that as we celebrate this season where you gave Jesus to us, this is a down payment of your promise that the God of the universe, the God who is all-powerful, the God who is no all-knowing, will be with us forever. That's why today, despite the situations in our midst, situations surrounding us, we will choose to be joyful because we know that your gift of salvation, your gift of love, your gift of your eternal presence will be with us forever because Jesus is now here. It allow us to celebrate the season as we worship you, as we rejoice over you with songs, with thanksgiving, with gratefulness. This we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, let's rejoice. Because Jesus is here. Come on, let's make some noise! It's wonderful, wonderful Christmas songs for the Lord. We're serenading not only this people, but we're serenading the Lord Himself. We want to, we want to thank Him. Father God, thank You for giving us Your Son, Jesus, to be our Emmanuel. God is with us. And thank You, Mama Mary, for conceiving baby Jesus for all of us. And thank You, Saint Joseph, for protecting the Holy Family. And we want to thank Jesus for giving us the joy, for giving us the freedom, for giving us the redemption, the salvation, and the love. Hallelujah. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us that guidance and strength. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, put your hands together.
Happy Birthday, Jesus! <laughs> Kakakamiss, ano? But, uh, again, let's just continue to pray that God will somehow bring us together in one physical space. And in saying that, two announcement. Number one, this coming Sunday, we'll still have our uh, feast at home, but this time it's a very special one because coming limang builders ng ating feast, ng feast alabang, will be preaching to you a very special message. And it will be a live gathering in one of these places in Alabang. <laughs> okay? So, magkikita kita pa rin tayo next Sunday as we celebrate the second special, Christmas special for this year. And last, after our talk, mag-lunch mag lang kayo because at 1.30 we'll be having our Christmas party, the FSM Christmas party. If you want to join us, please go to our Facebook page in Peace SM South Mall para makita nyo doon so that you can register kasi meron hong registration dyan so just register so that you can win some of our prizes that we prepared for this celebration. Okay? And again, we thank you for your giving. Thank you for sending us your your tithes and your offering, helping our feast to continue. Um, this feast at home, bringing this hope to a lot of people in this particular space that we are in. So again, thank you for your tithes and offering. And for those who would like to give us, uh, to, to give your tithes and offering continuously, please go to our Facebook page and you can see where you can place your tithes and offering. So again, see you next Sunday. Enjoy the holidays and let's enjoy Christmas party at 1.30. God bless you all. Merry Christmas. <laughs>